We begin tonight in Orlando, where a single gunman opened fire at two scenes just hours apart today, killing three people and wounding two others. The suspect is a 19-year-old man who is now in custody. His victims include a young woman, a mother and child, and a TV news crew. Orange County deputies say the two scenes are not very far apart in an area called Pine Hills. That's west of Orlando. News Channelist Jack Roy, you're at the Orange County Sheriff's Office Force tonight. And, uh, Jack, we report on victims of gun violence almost nightly. It's never easy, but this really hits close to home. Keith, it does. I just spoke to a crew from Spectrum's News 13 here in Orlando. They say it hasn't quite hit them yet that one of their colleagues is gone. But nonetheless, that Orlando TV journalist is dead tonight after a suspect in a shooting that that crew was covering apparently came back to the same scene later in the day and fired shots into their news vehicle. Later, he broke into a house and killed a nine-year-old girl and sent her mother to the hospital. It has been a tragic day that's left this community quite shaken. A shooting Wednesday morning in Orlando's Pine Hills neighborhood left a woman in her 20s dead, shot inside a car, deputies say, by a 19-year-old, Keith Melvin Moses. The suspect allegedly reappeared at the scene around 4 p.m. and fired shots into an unmarked news car in which two journalists for Orlando's Spectrum News 13 were working. One of them has died. A reporter from Orlando's NBC station shared the awful news. It, it is nice to see all the media. We come together to, in solidarity in this moment. This is every reporter's absolutely worst nightmare. After the second shooting, the suspect allegedly entered a home on a nearby street and shot a mother and her nine-year-old daughter. That young girl also dead. Mr. Moses is responsible for all those shootings. He's been charged, um, formally charged, in the murder this morning, and we expect charges soon on all of the other victims. Orange County Sheriff John Mina said the suspect had a long criminal history, including gun and assault charges. Uh, no one in our community, uh, not a mother, not a nine-year-old, and certainly not news professionals, should become the victim of gun violence in our community. Moses is charged with murder in the first shooting death, with more charges expected. The sheriff had very little information to share when he spoke with reporters late this evening about a possible motive in this case or what may have led this suspect to commit these uh, horrible crimes, allegedly. But he, he did say he hopes this suspect starts talking to law enforcement at some point so they can start to put the pieces of this tragic day together. Keith and Jen. Jack, before we let you go, did the sheriff happen to say whether he thinks the reporter and his photographer were targeted in any way while covering the initial shooting? He didn't go so far as to say that they were targeted, but he did note something very interesting, that this particular news crew was working out of a white, unmarked car, not one with logos for their television station that you might typically see. He said that car was parked in the exact same spot, just about, that a law enforcement vehicle that looked similar had been parked earlier in the day when detectives were canvassing the scene and following leads. They said they're working to find out if perhaps this suspect might have mistaken it for a law enforcement vehicle. We expect more answers tomorrow. All right. Keith, Jen. Jack Roy, you're reporting live in Orlando tonight. Thank you, Jack. And as, as he just mentioned there, this 19-year-old suspect has a lengthy record, including aggravated battery mm -hmm. and assault with a deadly weapon. These are crimes that he apparently committed as a juvenile because, uh, from what we can tell after doing some research, this is his first arrest as an adult. Now, you may have noticed here, we haven't shown his picture. We're not doing that tonight because our focus is on the victims. You're going to be seeing plenty of this guy, though, as he makes his way through the legal process. Yeah, and in the coming days, we expect to learn more about the victims themselves, to see their pictures and to hear their stories, and that will certainly be our focus. But in the meantime, reaction still coming in from across the state. Uh, in a statement, Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd, for example, said, we are stunned and heartbroken hearing the news out of Orange County that three people were fatally shot and two others are fighting for their lives at the hands of a violent criminal who was on a murderous rampage today. Our prayers are with all of the families affected by this horrific event. For the latest developments on this shooting and the investigations out of Orlando, including an update on the victim's conditions, you can download our free WFLA News app or go to WFLA.com.